If you've ever tried to take a screenshot of Netflix in the Chrome browser on your computer, your screenshot may appear as a blank, dark picture. This is likely due to a hardware acceleration setting in your browser. As you can see, my Netflix content is also currently appearing as a dark image in my Netflix tab because I'm recording video of my screen. So, with Google Chrome open, navigate to the three dots in the top right of the browser window and select Settings from the dropdown. In the new tab that opens, locate System in the column on the left. Next, toggle off the switch to the right of the Use Hardware Acceleration option. You will see a button appear to the left that says Relaunch. Click it and your browser will relaunch and reload all of your tabs. Then navigate back to the Netflix tab, find the place in the video you would like to screenshot, and if you're using a Mac like me, either press Command, Shift, and 3 to take a screenshot of your entire computer screen, or Command, Shift, and 4 to be able to click and drag a selection of the screen. On a PC, you can press the Windows key and Print Screen key at the top of your keyboard. The default location for a screenshot to be stored on a Mac is on the desktop and the default location on a PC is in the Screenshots folder within the Pictures folder. Now, when you open your screenshot, you will see the image instead of a blank picture. Once you have your screenshots, navigate back to Chrome Settings and toggle Hardware Acceleration back on, which can help improve efficiency of certain tasks on your computer. However, it's currently not required in Chrome. A couple side notes. If you use a Mac, current versions of Safari don't allow hardware acceleration to be turned off. Secondly, this video is for educational purposes only. When using copyrighted material of any kind, I recommend following all copyright laws, fair use laws, and any other laws pertaining to copyrighted material. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking, subscribing, and maybe clicking the super thanks button below the video for additional support. Thanks.